This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm the Don Davis. The Bahamas improves in financial centers' rankings and ratings. This according to the recent ZN Global Financial Centers Index, which is a widely quoted source for ranking financial centers. According to the publication, the Bahamas moved up to two places and increased its ratings by 32 places. CEO and Executive Director of the Bahamas Financial Services Board, Tanya McCartney, says this is good news and serves as a reminder that we must continue to work on those areas that impact the competitiveness of the Bahamas as an international financial center. In other business news, RBC announced today a commitment of $300,000 to support relief efforts in the wake of Hurricane Irma. The Caribbean relief effort will receive $200,000 of the total amount, while the remaining $100,000 will be directed toward relief efforts in Florida. With more than 100 years of history in the region, RBC has experienced the impact of natural disasters before and will continue to partner with national agencies to ensure the safety of all employees and communities. And in international business use news, Yahoo business experts say Boeing Company won an Air Force contract to begin designing the next Air Force One presidential aircraft in a deal worth just under $600 million. Current plans call for two new aircraft to replace the two aging presidential support planes. The contract modification includes design plans for a mission communication system, electrical power upgrades, a full medical facility, an executive interior, a self-defense system, and ground operations capabilities. And this has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm LaDawn Davis.